Have you ever been fascinated with a culture or scene that you didn't completely understand? Being from the East Coast, the only lowriders that I've ever seen were in movies and in video games. I don't know about you, but for me, lowriding was first introduced through hip hop culture. Always being affiliated with gang banging and violence. I think that's where lowriding gets a bad reputation. And just like hip hop, lowriding comes from the streets. But being in Española, New Mexico, on Good Friday, I was able to see how lowrider culture has a sense of community, camaraderie, and tradition. In this episode, we travel to Carla's hometown to find out what drives the passion for lowriding. It went something like this: cruising down the street in my six four. Well, I've honestly I've been doing this since I was about 16. My first car was a 83 Regal Primer, no paint. Try to get the best of the rims, man. And me and my brother built it from the ground up and um, finally started working, got some hydraulics. And just really the, the G bodies, which is the Cutlass, Regal, Monte Carlo, is really, I've always wanted an Impella. I could never really afford one. And, Got a good job. I worked with the real Reba County. Got a good job, saved up some money, and bought my dream car. My dream car was always a 63 convertible since I've seen Boys in the Hood, the gold one. Yep, yep, yep. And I always told myself I had, I had to have it. Low riding has been in Espanola for since the 40s, man. And it's it's been awesome. It's just, it's part of our all of our culture over here, you know what I mean? It's everybody has one. Everybody has a lowrider, man. A lot of people don't pull them up. It's died. A, it's died a lot. The lowrider, it's died, but it's coming back. And I'm happy. I'm from here. You know, I'm happy. I have a lowrider. It's always been my thing. It's always gonna be my thing. My kids love it. I'm building another one for my son. He's seven, so he's gonna be <laughs> lowriding in, yeah. in a few more years That's too. Awesome. Man. Yeah, yeah. Just getting into it, like yeah, from that and age. It, and it keeps you busy, man. It keeps you off doing a lot of other things. Absolutely, absolutely. It's just, we live for this, man. What got me into it, it was my family and my uncles. I mean, I've been building this since 13. So this is basically usually what I do, eh? I like to build it, and I mean, it's fun actually when you're building and shit, you know what I mean? Because all your pride and joy goes into these cars. So it's nice, eh? 